Good morning. I assume it is still morning. No, good afternoon, it's five past twelve. I'm all behind this morning. I'll get out of bed late this morning. Something I was going to say then, and it's gone. So, I will be very quick, because we'll do a... Oh, by the way, I am not being sponsored by Adidas. I find I'm not being sponsored by anybody. Probably not in my life, if I was, it'd be something like Aenea Sol or something. <laughs> Preparation age. <laughs> no, I'll give you a quick update on our French Light Infantry. And then I'm going to do an unboxing, because the postman has been this morning. I know what he's bought, but I haven't opened it yet. But I just thought you would like to see it. So our... French Light Infantry, I finally decided they're going to be the 8th Battalion Light Infantry, so when they're done, they all look something akin to that gentleman there, pretty much like that, although they won't have the long boots, because these particular figures by hat, they haven't got the long boots, they've just got long breeches and boots and gaiters or oh, it's like shoes and gaiters but <laughs> P. Beckers oh that's um discord gone off yeah so they're coming along anyway all the blocking in's been done and all the highlighting on the main colour has been done, the jacket, the breeches, backpack, bed roll, or blanket roll, um, shako, boots and gaiters, they've all been highlighted. And the skin tone's all done as well, all highlighted. So it's just fiddly stuff now. Or what I'm going to do when I finish this video is I'm going to get on with the, um, the webbing. I'm going to do the webbing. But broke the back of these now anyway, these figures. That one I've given brown trousers to. Yes, yeah, so coming along, so coming along very well. I am pleased. Then five units after once these are finished, just another five units of infantry. And that'll be the infantry finished. Although we do have couple of French units which are slightly for some reason slightly under par they're one or two figures short I, I tell you what it was when I first started this project I never standardized the sort of unit size I didn't read to be honest with you I didn't really know what I was doing per se so I've standardized the unit now at 24 plus whatever command figures might be added you know an officer figure or maybe bugler or something although I may add the musicians in with the 24 but it's, it's roughly around 24 anyway that I do now oh, quiet please so we broke the back of this unit anyway the 8th Italian French Light Infantry should look pretty good. Very slender figures by hat. There's not a lot of substance to them. Whereas that last batch we did by Strelets, French Infantry in great coats, they were a lot chunkier than these figures. Had a lot more sort of substance to them. But anyway, there we are. So our unboxing, our. Oh, that this morning. I know what this is. I think it's had a bit of a hard time in the mail this package. It's had a bit of a wallop on the corner there. I hope it's alright inside. I shall sue the postal service if it's not.
I've been wanting this for ages, one of these for ages. Despite the fact that I said that I'm not buying anything else. <laughs> it's lying like a rug, you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, you know what I'm like for writing stuff. Um, my very large stash pile. <laughs> Hope these are not brittle. We shall see in a minute. Hmm. Possibly could be. Yeah, possibly could be. Don't like the look of them. Now we're getting down to the nub of the issue. Genuine Airfix Roman Fort. So that will go well with our back in the stash pile, our Roman army that we've got put aside, our Imperial Roman army. Wanting one of these for ages, but they can go for quite considerable money, and it's how much you're prepared to pay for the thing. Looks very nice. Might be able to upgrade that, improve that. Well, that's nice detailing on the wall. Yeah, should make a nice model. Should make a nice. Ouch. Should make a nice model. Um, yeah. We have to work out how that goes together later. Very nice, very nice indeed. I know it's quite a, I think it's from about 1969, this model. So over 40 years old. So, um, I know it's quite a collectible thing actually in that state, but I am gonna build it. I didn't buy it just to put it on the shelf and look at it. I bought it to actually build it, so that's what we'll do. So I should make a nice, very nice model. Paint it up, spray it up. We'll probably get the spray gun on it and spray it, airbrush, and airbrush it. Yeah, it should look very nice. It should look very nice indeed. But what it did come with, which I didn't like the look of actually, is, which you don't normally get when you buy this from on eBay, 
this particular one it had two bags of figures with it but figures in the other bag there they look rather um, brittle I have to say and airfix figures for some reason they can have a habit of going habit of going brittle for some reason I don't know what, what happens to them whether it's just something with the plastic they haven't got the mix quite right and it over a period of time it goes brittle or whether it plastic reacts to sunlight ultraviolet or something I don't know what it is I mean I had um, as some of you will know if you watch some of my earlier videos I had a load of Grenadier Guards color party and they had gone totally brittle you could snap them in your fingers they, they were that sort of crisp and they just broke into pieces which was a shame because I really wanted that color party but it, it was but I did manage to rescue a few um, a few of the bandsmen figure Grenadier bandsmen I managed to rescue a few of them they were they seemed okay and I've painted a few up so if you go back in my videos you'll see um, painted Grenadier bandsmen which come out very nice actually but I don't know why really over a long period they do go so brittle so let's have a look let's have a look yeah yeah there you go that one's just snapped there yeah First, first time I've actually known it with Romans. There you go, look. I don't know how many of them are brittle. Yeah, I think these are all going to be buggered, which is a nuisance, really. Yeah, look. That's even snapped in the body. Yeah, look. Look. Yeah. Yeah, these figures are to totally, excuse my terminology here, but it's the only way I know how to put it. These figures are totally buggered. <laughs> yeah, look, look. Oh, that's a nuisance. That's a nuisance. Yeah, look. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, first I have a shield buggered as well. Yeah, even the shield, look, even the shields are buggered. Yeah. There you go. That's a pity. So that's a whole bag of Roman legionaries that's buggered. It's a pity because that's a lot of figures. So beware of that if you're buying 172nd scale airfix figures. Just be aware that they can go brittle. Um, I don't know what this second bag is like. Um, yeah, pretty much, I think, pretty much the same. I'd love to know yeah these are already dropping bits all over me I'd love to know excuse me a second I gotta stand up I'd love to know if any of you out there actually know why these go brittle let me know I'd be delighted to know what happens but is it a reaction in the plastic or just something else that's a shame because this bag has chariots in it.
bitches. Yeah, there you go. Look. That is an X chariot. Yep, I'm not going to be able to save any of these. Because. They are knackered. So there you have it, folks. I suppose the horses are the same. Yeah, horses are the same. Look. That's disappointing, but I bought it for the Ford. I wanted the Ford, so the figures were sort of like a bit of a bonus anyway. But I will complain to the seller. So anyhow, there you go. That's where we're at. Nice Ford. Put that away till we get these naps finished. So I'm going to carry on now and um, have a crack at the webbing on these. 8th Light Infantry, and I'm going to finish watching, you know, I was watching earlier, I was watching um, 1972 Monaco Grand Prix, people like Jackie Stewart and all that, and it was wonderful, it was team, absolutely teeming with rain, so I'm going to finish watching that, have a crack at these Light Infantry, as always, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, if you're watching you haven't subscribed, Jab the button, push the bell, you know it makes sense. Let's get past 200. Still trying to get past 200. See you on the next one.